All righty, ladies and gentlemen, little bit of Sunday afternoon wrestling. <laughs> um, ten reasons why Hangman Adam Page might suck as champion. I'm using my words correct or carefully here, folks, because you know it's possible that he might be the greatest wrestling champ of the modern era. <laughs> or he might suck. You never know, folks. I can't predict the future there, but here's 10 reasons why he might suck as champion, folks. Number one, no star power. You know what I mean? The AEW fans like him or whatever. You know, he was friends with Kenny Omega, the elite, blah, blah. But having zero star power in reality, that could pose as a problem. You know what I mean? The fact that there's zero reason to actually put the belt on this guy. That could pose a little problem, folks. I mean, number two, he lacks any real charisma. You know what I mean? He's a little bland. He tries kind of deal, but he just comes off as a bit of a goof. Or a bad actor kind of deal. No real charisma. Um, number three. He wasn't built up properly to be a world champion. According to AEW fans, there was an amazing storyline taking place, you know. Between Kenny and Hangman Page. A great long-term story. It was very amazing. The problem is this amazing storytelling just wasn't there in reality. They had a few matches, but like, you know, in reality, he was hanging out with the Dark Order, looking like a jobber for over a year. He was booked poorly to look like some kind of loser, alcoholic goofball of some sort. Cheap matches, bad acting, and he wasn't there half the time, so, you know, in reality, he wasn't booked properly <laughs> to be the world champ. It's just the way it is. Number four, not believable. As a world champ, you know, I see this guy, I don't see a Hulk Hogan or anything close to this, a Roman Reigns or, you know, think of a credible world champ and then look at this guy. Does he look like he should be, you know, main eventing a show against Batista or anything like and this is bringing the quality down when you're talking about Batista. You know what I mean? Not believable to me when I see him wearing a pink cowboy shirt, hanging out with John Silver there. That to me doesn't scream world champ. You know what I mean? Number five, he's corny pretty much unfunny you know he tries to be funny sometime on the goofy show with the young bucks being the elite unfunny you know what i mean nothing cool about him he just comes off as corny or whatever number six he doesn't look like a champion he's not big enough just his image, I don't see a world champ, I don't. Not big, not tall enough, not convincing enough, you know what I mean? 
when I just look at him standing there again, doesn't look like a champ. Number seven, cowboy shit. It isn't cool. It isn't funny. What the fuck is it? Like, AEW fans chant this cowboy shit. He said this on Being the Elite or whatever. But what the hell is that? Like, you know, Clint Eastwood was cowboy shit. A, a, a movie with a, the six shooter and, you know, getting in the fist fight with the sheriff. That's cowboy shit. Hanging out with the Dark Order. That's not cowboy shit or whatever. Apologizing to the young bucks. That's not cowboy shit. It's just lame shit. You know what I mean? Number eight. He looks like a fucking goof with the cowboy outfits. You know what I mean? That again, this ties in to, to not looking like a champ, but... What am I watching there? 1980s NWA. Is this guy supposed to be Magnum TA? Like, is he supposed to be James Storm? I know he's ripping off James Storm there, but like, the, the cowboy shirts and the hat, skinny guy or whatever. Just not believable. Number nine. He didn't draw big on Dynamite. He wins the belt at the pay-per-view. Apparently, this was a culmination of not just a great long-term story, but his whole career in Ring of Honor and, and New Japan or whatever. They don't even get a million viewers for the pay-per-view fallout. Not that impressive, you know what I mean? And number 10, the AEW fans. Did this guy get chosen because he earned it, like he said in this promo? Is it because he's the right choice or because he's ready or good enough to be champ? Fuck no. It's because the AEW fans apparently just decided this, that he was next, and Tony Khan just went along with it or whatever. Now, some people like CM Punk, what's wrong with giving the fans what they want or whatever? It makes sense, but here's the problem. A big portion of AEW fans are just straight up fucked in the head, like, and that's not just trying to, to bash them or whatever with a blanket statement. Look at them on Twitter. Look at them anywhere. Anywhere you find AEW fans, you're going to find goofy mental case behavior. That indicates to me that some of them are fucked in the head, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, I wouldn't base my show off of what they say should happen because a lot of them are just big fucking goofs there. And most of the time, the stuff that they want just doesn't bring in ratings. They always want the next Hamanager to be pushed as champ, which is kind of what happened here with Hangman Page or whatever. You know, and like Brian said, these fans are fickle or whatever. They turn on a guy like this. Once he becomes champ, you know, they don't give a shit anymore. Once the NXT star goes on the main roster, they don't care. They turn on wrestlers like this. You know what I mean? And they want the next goofball to be pushed. The next guy who doesn't deserve it, they want him to be pushed or whatever. Very bad idea to go along with the booking or the ideas of these psychotic AEW fans or whatever. You know what I mean? Straight up. A lot of what they want is trash. 
most of it is trash. So booking a guy as champ because these goofballs are demanding it. Oh, this is how it's going to be. Never would I have, or, or would anybody with sense would have booked this. You know what I mean? Like Booker T straight up said it, put the belt on Brian because Adam Page doesn't have any star power or whatever. It's the truth. Fuck, like, come on. But it's possible he becomes the the best Hootin' tootin' wrestler in town, boy. I mean, get real, folks. Until next time, peace. Yeehaw!